Okay, let's talk about how we can get images <clears throat> inserted into the body of our Blackboard posts. Many of you are having uh, difficulties with this. I realize that it's a bigger problem uh, for Mac users than PC users. Unfortunately for you, I'm a PC person, so I can't show you how it's done on a Mac, but I can walk you through what I think is the only thing you need to change uh, in order to get it to work uh, on a Mac. So first, I'll just create a fictitious posting, right? We'll just call this uh, adding pictures. And this is the simple control V method. All right, so over here in StatCrunch, I have this lovely little histogram from the weights of bears. And this is the easiest way that works for most people with most machines. Click on Options, click on Copy, creates a copy. And in fact, this is what you want to do if you're going to uh, copy this into a Word document. And then now you can see the instructions are down here at the bottom. It tells you to right click on the image, copy the image, and then use um, paste special to get it into a Word document. So I'm going to right click, copy image, go back over here. My cursor is in the post where I want it to be. And if you just do control V for paste, you don't even have to do paste special. And you can see it sitting right there. If I click submit, now, some of you say, oh, I do this, and it looks great, and then I click Submit, and then it's not there. Well, if I go back and check, you'll see that it's there. Okay, so the Control-V method works on PCs for most people. Okay, let's say this is not working for you, or you're a Mac person, and it, it, the Control-V option is not working for you because of that. Then there's a second way. So you right-click copy and if and if this doesn't work for you to, to save the file then you can also use things like um, a snipping tool right and then the snipping tool you come in here and you highlight everything and then it takes a picture of it and now you can save this clip to your desktop or wherever you want to save it right as a capture it just saves it as a basic JPEG file which is fine you can change this to um, uh, a PNG file or a JPEG, either one of those seem to work. Um, if you uh, are on a Mac, I don't think it's called snipping, it's some other screen capture kind of thing, but it, the idea is still the same, right? That you, you end up drawing a rectangular shape around this and then you click or do something and it takes basically like it takes a little snapshot picture of whatever's on your desktop, whatever's on your screen, and then you save it as a file, okay? so. Whether you do it from right-clicking on this or doing um, the idea of uh, the snipping tool, whatever you want to do, I'm going to do the snipping tool because it's easiest, I think, in this situation. All right, so there it is. Save it somewhere. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. So any method you can use to save a copy of this as a picture file, and again, it doesn't matter, JPEG, PNG, whatever you got, just save it as a picture file. So now it's saved, it's on my desktop, I know where it is. Now I can go back. So I'm just going to reply to this and create another one, right? So this is going to be the uh, insert a picture file method. So you go to this little third button here, where if you hover over it, it says insert edit image. Click on that comes up with a new window and asks you, you know, what do you want to ins uh, insert? If you had um, saved this to the internet and you had a URL, then you would type that in there, but you don't. You just put it on your computer, so browse computer. Find wherever it is, right? For me, it's on the desktop. I'd click on desktop. I'm already there from before. Double click or um, just click and then click open, but either way, you're, you're basically going to select that picture file. It's going to load it here. You can see kind of a preview of it. If the file is too big, you, you might have to mess with it. Uh, they normally want you to put some sort of um, description and title in here. This is for in case you have anybody um, looking at this uh, who's uh, visually impaired, then if they have screen reader programs, when they hover over this, it, it, it tells them this is a histogram, right? It tells them the, the image description and title. 
then just hit insert there it is again right you can see it and, and if you click submit there it is everything looks fine right if we go out of and then go back in just to double check because some of you say it's there and then I go back and it's not well it's still there okay so if you have a Mac you should be able to take a screen capture or somehow save a copy of your graphs as JPEG or PNG some sort of picture file and then insert it that way so please go back fix your posts put your pictures within the body of your post so other students don't have to download um, attachments in order to see what you're talking about